In a recent poll, uh, my next guest was found to be television's most popular star uh, with kids between the ages of 6 and 16, and also uh, one of television's top 10 personalities with adults. How she does with animals, we don't know, but those are the two polls. Will you welcome, please, the popular Mrs. Brady, and not only that, the lovely Florence Henderson. <laughs> of a greeting was that? That was a strange greeting. <laughs> we both expected to be kissed uh, yeah. and neither of us kissed. Well, I and don't I... think you like to get lipstick on you, so. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. Again. I don't know. You know, I have strange women coming on kissing me with a variety of germs and um, <laughs> it's one of the hazards of this business. I know, I know. I, but I think sometimes it's, it's done too often in our business. You know, I everybody know, goes, hi, darling. Mm -hmm. And know. it's, you know, a little sick. And then knife each other as soon as they leave. Uh, but you're verbally. really adorable. I really like to kiss you. Oh, yeah. If you had to <laughs> get stuck kissing somebody, I, I would probably be among the top two or three you'd pick. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Is this the mouth? Uh, something, about the, something about my mouth? Doesn't he have a sexy mouth? <laughs> you know what you've just done? You've made it impossible for me to talk now. Yeah. My daughter has become a conscious of something like you know. No, no, what My was, daughter Barbara, she's uh, has a what? A crush on you. Oh, oh. And uh, she's yeah. 14, and she watches you whenever she she can. You know, she can't stay up too late, but she loves you. And um, oh the other day, we had to go to the dentist, yeah. and I said, uh, Barbara, don't forget, meet me at the dentist right after school. And she said, Oh, I just know he'll tell me I've got a dick cavity. <laughs> You know, uh, you were on And this mind. is the one who loves me. Right. A dick cavity, yes. Isn't that great? I don't fool with your name. <laughs> Flo. It was quite, uh, you know. Florient. Flora. Flora. <laughs> Isn't there something Watch called that. Florian Pun? Ow. <laughs> Listen, I'm one of ten kids. I can handle you any day. What does that have to do with it? Well, I had five brothers. Yeah. So I hit a lot. You mean, well, did they pick on you because oh, you were the, sure. uh, the infant girl? Oh, you don't have brothers and sisters. You're an only child. No, yeah. You yeah. can oh. tell that from looking at me, yeah. or do you just... I always yeah. feel a little put down by that. <laughs> no, oh. I read it. Oh, you read it, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, but a, a, a girl in, in a boy family learns oh, to fight. Oh, it's terrible. Well, I'm the youngest of ten, and, yeah. and uh, they're always picking, and especially boys. You know, they're always coming mm. up and going like this. Dun, 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 and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it's true, so I've... You know, I strike out. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a highly amusing illustration. <laughs> well, you really did learn to. Yeah, we used to. I, I didn't have brothers, but as kids, we used to. You know, just see how hard you can hit somebody right yeah. in the arm. Lean your arm over here. You know that. Just where you. Oh, I can't do oh, it. No, yeah. I can't do it. I seldom strike a lady, and I always tip my hat before I do. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know, but it's. Great. Say the Brady Bunch has has changed a little bit. Now I don't see it very often because I don't get up that early in the morning, but. <laughs> Oh, isn't what? he clever? You don't have any kids. That's why you don't watch The Brady Bunch. You have to, oh, you have to have kids to watch The Brady Bunch? And because you're working. Or be one. No. What, what time of day is it on, actually? It's on it's... at 8 o'clock at night. Oh, it is on at night. Sure, every Friday oh, night. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought it was a daytime. On ABC. No. Of course. Uh, <laughs> right. No, I'd have seen it if it were on ABC. Well, it shows you what you know. You know, you, you intellectuals. I'm just getting easy, even for you hitting me. <laughs> right. No, I've seen the Brady. I saw you go to the Grand Canyon. Oh, and, did you? Oh, that yeah. was a great trip. Have you it's ever been there? No, I'd love to go there. I almost got there. I got down to New Mexico, and I wanted to go right on to Arizona, and I wanted to go down on into Sonora and Geronimo's country and We're all. We're not and interested in all that. I just want to know, <laughs> did you get to the canyon? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, I'm kidding. But I oh. wish, wish I'd been one of your brothers. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Well, I, no, I, I had a thought there, and you drove it out of my head. I was going to say that it seems like the show is a little more, I don't know, realistic. It was a little gummy at first. Was, Do you mind I, my saying that? No, because it was true. And, and we weren't very good the first year, and, mm. and our ratings weren't very good. And it was very kind of candy stick and bubble gum yeah, and, and, and all and that. And, and we unreal. thought, right. So Robert Reed especially, you know, he's a big bug on realism, mm -hmm. sometimes to the extreme, because he makes himself so unhappy. But we worked and, and really worked hard, and everybody really kind of pulled together, and we got better writers. And, and I, as a mother, you know, having four kids, mm -hmm. uh, I can see sometimes we get scripts that you know the writers have no more idea what children really do than a man in the moon. So I say, you yeah, know, that's stupid. We can't do that. And so we change it. I think it's a good idea. 
and so to get more realistic. Yeah, People right. can identify with it more. And you know, I I, uh, I yell at my own kids sometime, and mm -hmm. I think most parents do. And I I try to bring that to the show. They get a little upset. Yeah. Sometimes they tell me, you know, I'm I'm too Jewish and things like that. In my what do they reactions. mean by that? I don't know. Uh, Where did they get that? I don't know. You know, like Sherwood Schwartz, who is Jewish. He's our uh -huh. producer and director, and. Of course, my husband is Jewish, and uh, I told you that. We say grace at our home, uh, both graces before meals, the really? Hebrew oh, yeah? and the Catholic. It, it comes out, Baruch Ato Adonai. So you're well covered that right. way. Right. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I have always been drawn to, to uh, things Jewish, to, yeah. to Mediterranean kind of things. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I become just terribly... Uh, Jewish. And Gestures. I say, so why? Things. You know, already yeah. you want that. And Shura says, no, Florence, no, got to go. The Brady Bunch will end up the Goldbergs. Uh, <laughs> right. Kind of <laughs> right, which I think wouldn't be a bad idea. I got some ideas for more realistic shows, though. I mean, I think as long, thinking along those lines, I think they could, I think you could do, uh, you could have the dog bury the birth control pills or something. <laughs> uh, actually, obviously he already has. If, uh, how, how many, oh, we got uh, rid of the dog. Oh, you didn't get rid of the dog. Did, Did you, you have to get rid of the dog? You didn't know about that on the Brady Bunch? No, I didn't know about that. Well, oh, oh, there was a big thing about yeah, that. Yeah, because oh, he wanted yeah, too true. much money. Yeah. And a guarantee of 26 weeks. And and the dog had a better agent than the actress. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot of money. So we got rid of the dog. So now we only have six yeah. kids and Ambie Davis well, and Robert realistic. Reed and myself. How about an episode where you see the whole family through a bout of intestinal flu? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's realistic. Come on, Florence, you want to be realistic I on the show? I think I am all for it. How about more four-letter words on the show? That'd be realistic. Like love and, and uh, well, whatever. all that. Yeah? yeah, well, you know. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so naughty. You am know. I? What, uh, oh, well, listen, if you wanted to be so smart, you should have gone to the Grand Canyon and come down with us on those mules, and you wouldn't have had your saddle very dry, I don't think. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, lady, I'm known for one of the driest saddles in show business. I have heard about so that. That's and those what mules, it is. those oh. mules slip a little bit too, and people and they face them right over the edge. And you I have a about, path about this big. I don't want to do that. And I thought a mule was a little thing. No, it's a big thing. It's more oh, like a horse. They, ha they are bigger than horses. You're thinking of a burrow, probably. So. I guess I am, yeah. but I couldn't believe that they were going to make us go down on these little things. They do though. And my ho my mule's name was Ward. Can you imagine naming a mule Ward? Ward. Yeah. Better than if it's Stumbly or something like that. 